Where's the video? You mean you didn't embed your video? Hello, Rich Horsinger here with another episode of The Incredible Screencast. I've been asked about how to embed videos on web pages and why videos should be embedded. Embedding videos make them much easier to view on your website. If you simply link to the video file, your visitor may not have a program installed on their computer to play your video. They may get a screen like this, asking to install software to play the video. You can almost bet your visitor will find it too complicated and won't follow through. They likely won't view your masterpiece. Remember, all video on the web is viewed in a player. Don't force visitors to have to install special software to see your video. Embedded video is great for your SEO. Embedded video keeps your visitor on your website. Your visitors expect embedded video. And embedded video is just cool. Enough about why. Let's learn how to embed your videos. I'm assuming here that you understand how to edit HTML and upload files to a web server. I'll show you how to first point a hyperlink to the HTML page produced by Camtasia Studio. Second, embed your video using HTML produced by Camtasia Studio. Third, embed your video with iframe HTML markup. And fourth, third-party embedding options. I produce screencast videos with TechSmith Camtasia Studio. That's why here I'm concentrating on using these Camtasia Studio produced files. Selecting the production option, Embed in the HTML, tells Camtasia Studio to produce a number of files that we can use to our advantage. Let's take a look at these files. There are a couple of flash files, a ping image, an HTML document, a JavaScript, and an MPEG-4 movie file. All these files work together to display and play your video. One way is to simply FTP all these production files to your web server, keeping them all in the same directory or folder, and point your browser to the HTML file. I FTP this production folder to my web server into a folder named Video. Pretty high tech, right? It's vital that all these files remain in the same folder or directory on your web server. They all work together to display and play your masterpiece. Create a link on your web page to that HTML file in the production folder like this. When I click on that link, you see that the video plays on its own page. Seems very lonely to me. You could, of course, redesign this page to match your website look and feel. Second method, using the markup in the Camtasia Studio HTML page to embed the video. You can use any HTML editor you like to make these changes. In the Camtasia Studio produced HTML file, scroll down to the commented out markup. I copy the whole object tag and paste it into my web page where I want the video embedded. I paste this into a div with a CSS class media, as you can see. Paste your markup into any HTML container that works for you. Remember that I uploaded all these files in their own folder to the folder video on my web server. You'll need to make sure you include the appropriate path in four spots in this markup. One, the parameter source value. Two, this first frame ping. Third, the embed source. And four, another first frame ping. Upload your revised HTML page to your server, and now your masterpiece appears on that page. Your video runs in the TechSmith video player. A third method. Use an iframe tag that points to the HTML page produced by Camtasia Studio to embed your video. 
An iframe element defines an inline frame. We'll paste the URL of the HTML page produced by Camtasia Studio into the iframe's source attribute. Don't be afraid of the iframe tag. YouTube generates an iframe when you click Embed. Here's what the markup looks like on my web page. You may need to adjust the width and height so your whole video fits in the iframe. You can also see I've added a bit of CSS styling to the border. Now your masterpiece is displayed on your web page and runs using the TechSmith video player. And fourth and last, aren't you glad? You can use third-party services like YouTube, Vimeo Pro, and a host of others, too many to mention here. In these types of services, you upload your screencast video file, in this example an MP4 movie file, to their service. Both YouTube, which is free, and Vimeo Pro, that's not free, generate embed code for you. Simply copy and paste the generated embed code into your web page, save, and upload your web page to your server. And as if by magic, your masterpiece is embedded on your website and runs in the video player of the service you're using. These services also offer analytics to help give you insight into how your masterpiece is doing on the web. Whew, we're done. Thanks so much for being here today. I sure hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to contact me if you need more help.